I am too, because guess what? Let me, let me ask you this question. Have you ever thought about what you would do if you experienced chest pains? Do you call 911? Do you ride it out? How do you know if it means something serious? Dr. William Freeman, he's a Mayo Clinic cardiologist, and he is here with some great advice. First of all, Dr. Freeman, thank you for being here. Well, thank you, Terry. Okay, so what do you do? All of a sudden, you start feeling these pains. What do you do? Well, I think the first thing you have to realize is, is this chest pain something that is new? Is this something that is something we should need to worry about? Okay. Uh, if you're diabetic, if you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and especially if you smoke on top of all of that, you should be concerned about any type of chest discomfort. Okay. Oftentimes, it's not really a pain. It's more of a tightness, a fullness, a constriction, someone sitting on my chest type of sensation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the dramatic Hollywood heart attack where people scream and yell and fall down. Uh, right. And so they can be very subtle symptoms. If you, if you have the risk factors, you've got to pay attention. So if you have those risk factors that you just mentioned, smoking, diabetes, um, what else did you say? Smoking uh, and, high and high cholesterol and a family history. Should you just call 911 at that point? Well, I think you have to really pay attention to your environment. Uh, you should, you should, if you have anyone around, you should alert a family member or a loved one that, yes, indeed, I'm having chest discomfort. Okay. If the chest discomfort is persisting and progressing, then, yes, indeed, 911 is the best answer to get help as soon as possible. I want to take a look at, at, a, at a picture here of, a, of an image of a body and you can kind of see it and, and it's often that that left side is that the is it the radiating pain that we often hear about that you're going to experience? Yes, on the on the diagram the most common location is a poorly localized central chest pressure. You can't put a finger on it and okay. it, it can go up into the neck, it can go up into the jaws and more commonly down the left arm, sometimes down the right arm, sometimes both. Sometimes it's only the arms alone. Usually it's in the center chest, right where that red central uh, mm -hmm. dot is. Okay, and oftentimes you hear that people say, oh my gosh, I, I feel like, uh, you know, maybe it's just heartburn. Um, you, you know, and you hear that one a sure. lot. Oh, I've, you know, I, I've, got a, I've got a hiatal hernia, I'm, I'm used to that. How do you know, for those people who aren't high risk, how do you know when it's serious? It can be very tricky because all the nerves from the upper gastrointestinal tract, from the heart, even from the gallbladder, all go into the same junction box at the base of the neck, and sometimes the brain can't tell because this is referred pain. It's, it's visceral pain. If it's localized, you can put one finger on it. Then you say, well, maybe that's in the chest wall. If it's poorly localized, pressure associated with shortness of breath and, and uh, sweatiness, maybe even a feeling of faintness, that probably is indeed something to worry about. Oh, okay. So with those additional symptoms, yes, I indeed. mean, should you just just simply call 911 at that point? 911 would be the best answer. Why? You know, so many people are afraid to do that. You know, we're embarrassed. We're like, oh, I'm not really sure what it is, and I don't want to, you know, waste anybody's time. I mean, how many people show up in the emergency room thinking that it's, you know, possibly that, that, That's an interesting question. Uh, I'm down in the emergency room all the time. Uh, if you look at the big studies, and you look at emergency department studies, about one out of every four people in the emergency department is in there because of some form of chest discomfort, and they should be. Okay. Uh, billions of dollars have been spent educating people of when to come to the emergency department, when to seek attention. Mm -hmm. uh, in people over the age of 65, there's a 50-50 chance that you will have an episode of chest discomfort that will get your attention. Wow. And if there's any doubt, it's best to get it checked out. All right, all right. That is the bottom line, and know your body. Dr. Freeman, thank you so much. Thank you. Really, really good information. And let me tell you, um, if you would like to know any more information about heart disease or to schedule an appointment with a Mayo Clinic cardiologist, you can call or visit them. Here's the phone number, 480-301-8200. A lot of good information on their website, mayoclinic.org as well. And of course, don't forget, ABC 15 is teaming up with Mayo Clinic for the Rally for Red campaign. Now, each month, we're going to give you easy to follow recipes, ideas, tips, just like you learned today to help keep you and your loved ones heart healthy. To learn more and get our Rally for Red reminders, just sign up at abc15.com slash rallyforred.